Welcome back. Now, persistent flooding has severely damaged key parts of KwaZulu Natal's road network. Trucks are also causing regular car pileups there. Our senior reporter, Jason Thathi, is taking a closer look at the state of the province's roads, and he joins us now uh, to give us this update and a glimpse. Jason, good morning to you. How is it looking from where you stand? Tibelo, you know, there, there are so many different issues. It's multifaceted, right? You mentioned the issue around traffic and how that's affected by roads. But, you know, when you narrow it down and you go into certain communities, you also realize that life is disrupted there as a result of the damage that is caused to the roads. And even that is in two parts. The one is as a result of the weather conditions, the flooding, like you spoke about. But the other part of it is just maintenance and infrastructure that is causing severe damage. We are in Inanda, Newtown A. Look at this road that was damaged last year during the flooding in April. But the residents are still living under these conditions and they say that this has severely impacted access in this area. So this is a road that you normally have taxis and buses traveling on which then assists residents and they are able to get that public transport nearby. But until now, the only work that has been done here, they say, has been done by some of the local taxi drivers. I'm joined now by some of the residents. I've got Nompumelelo Mbele and uh, Sodwa Kele. Nompumelelo, I'll start with you first. You say that uh, this has severely impacted uh, not just yourselves, but also the older people in the area. Just tell me how. Yes, this is an impact of this because there's uh, people that cannot take a bus or take a taxi and we come fetch water from here. There's a main pipe of water is being raised here. There's a sewage that is being here. People are affected, people from the resident there. There's water, it's smelling and we're disaffected by, by, by this uh, uh, place here. Mm. So we need to be resolved. This is the issue of it. So the road is getting smaller and smaller and smaller every day. You can see when it's raining, see the taxis are coming through, this place is coming smaller and smaller every day. So that is a problem. And uh, Zotwa, I just want to confirm something. In the time, in, it's been more than a year now, have you seen any official work being done on these roads? No, they haven't done nothing. I haven't seen nothing that is done. Uh, unless the, the taxi owners, this, the only taxi owners, they do this, this please. But this was more damage than that. Mm. They never did anything after that. And residents have been complaining about it? I mean, have you spoken to your councillor, for example, and, uh, you know, the authorities, the municipality? Yes, some of the residents, our grandmothers, they, were, they, were, they did talk about, the, we talked with the councillor. But the councillor just said they will do it, they will do it, they just saying, but they never done anything. And besides this road around here, I mean, this we can see is clearly damaged. How would you say the condition of the other roads around the area in, in under Newtown, eh, how are they uh, just besides the flooding? I think this is the worst one. This is the worst one we have seen. We have the middle ones in between the houses and the house is being damaged. There's nothing has been done. The councillor has come and showing us and say you do it and do it, do it, but there's no job being done. Our grandmother walk like 30 minutes to fetch a bus or the bus is less than, bus which can take it, they have a coupon. The bus is 15 rand if you buy by paying it, but the tax is 25 rand. There's too much for them. They're only getting a pensioner. And the clinic has been closed, but like a year, there's nothing has been done. It's been flooded. It's only like we chronic, to, we chronic to people. Go, to go to inland and new town, see, to get a clinic. We need to go to our marshal to get a clinic. It's, it's almost two years now we don't have a clinic. And, and, and add to that is the issue of the roads as well because access is a problem. Tumelo, you know, you know the problems are, are really many and they are compounded as a result uh, of these various issues. You would have heard there that the other issues around the clinic but then there's also the problem with public transport reaching people here where we are. So hopefully there is a, you know, more exposure now and people are able to or rather the authorities are able to see what residents here are experiencing but this is not the only area we've seen similar situations across the city and all of this against the backdrop of the, the municipality already saying that it had started work it and it has and there are projects that are underway but clearly not everywhere has been reached